Hello there, I'm Black Bright, um, hailing from the east of England. Welcome to my channel. First time you're passing through, is the thumbs up if you like what I talk about, is the thumbs down if you talk, if you think I'm talking a load of posh, it's share if you want other people to listen to this video, and it's subscribe if you want to see more of me. So, um, there's a lot of talk going about Ollie Robinson, the second England cricketer who's been suspended for historic racial tweets. Now, he's used the N-word and he's related to, I think, Muslims being bombers and stuff like that. And it's caught up with him. It's something he did before he were under the age of 18. And we have to ask ourselves, does when does the statute of limitations apply? I mean, in most cases, when there's a criminal offence committed, there's a statute of limitations, and I think it's about 10 years, depending on the crime. Now, it doesn't seem to be the case in this situation because it appears that he has been suspended and he will not be able to play against New Zealand, which was what he was hoping to do. And I was just wondering, you know, Twitter came out in 2006. I guess by the time Ollie Robinson started tweeting in 2012 to 2013, it was a platform for freedom of speech, or so people thought. There wasn't any time back then when you were tweeting and doing whatever you wanted to do that you ever thought it would come back and bite you in the bum. But now anything that is written down is considered evidence and can come back and bite you even if you were a minor. And some people argue that 16 is not a minor. Some people say you have an element of responsibility from the age of 12. I have no comment on that. But the fact of the matter is, is that in this particular case, Ollie Robinson's past caught up with him and he's being suspended. Is that right or is it wrong? I'm not sure. Because I can think of maybe back in the day when we were 15, 16, which is a rebellious age. I remember in when I was 15 and 16, I used to hear people calling Asians packies. We would hear people calling us wogs and, ni and, and niggers were the N word, what they like to say. Um, you know, golly wogs, niggers, coons, all of that stuff. But what happened back then is that it wasn't documented, was it? It was just words in the air. And although they hit just or although they hit or hurt just as much, there was no evidence. We wouldn't know who said what. But when you are doing that on Twitter or Facebook or any social platform, there's a trail. And if somebody wants to get at you, they will. Now, obviously, somebody has gone as far back as 2012 to find these tweets. And now, Ollie Robinson, yes, he's apologising, but it's showing him, it's showing up a character trait that is undesirable, especially in this era, especially at this time. You know, it's a time when, I guess, black people are feeling more vulnerable than they've ever felt with all of this, these racist things that are happening. And yeah, I guess, what can I say? I'm just really trying to make sense out of something that I'm not quite sure how to respond to, really. You know, my, my, my personal thought is that, you know, is it, well, I'm not going to say, is it fair? Because, you know, if you've incriminated yourself, you have to pay the price, like we all do. When we incriminate ourselves in a court of law, we pay the price for that, whether it's right or wrong, whether it's fair or it's not fair. You don't get a second chance. And the England Cricket Board are saying there's no room for mistakes. So they're talking about perfection. And like I said, we're moving to an automated world where, you know, things will be perfect. If we're run by robots, robots tend not to make mistakes. 
But as humans, we will always make mistakes and we will always pay the price for those mistakes. I think that's all I'm going to say for that. Um, I'm not going to get into too much. Um, let me see, make sure that I... Yeah, I don't think I've got anything more to say. I think I will leave it there and wait for your comment. Bye-bye.